is it okay to ask if Alex auditioned for the role of Gazelle in Kingsman? Now, there are posters up all over Britain this week for the new film Kingsman, which features a female character with prosthetics. The My ideal part. <laughs> <laughs> And so here's the thing, the director of the film, a guy by the name of Matthew Vaughan, actually contacted us this week to explain why he used an able-bodied actress uh, for that role. Turns out he was inspired by the Blade Runners at the 2012 Paralympics and wanted to create a lead character with prosthetics because he thought they looked cool. And this is one of the ones that was used in the film, OK? Here's the weird thing, and this is God's honest truth. He originally approached men for the role, even had a meeting just after the Paralympics with Oscar Pistorius's people in which he asked them if they thought Oscar could play a convincing killer. <laughs> You're joking. I'm not kidding. And they said, yep, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> What's even more eerie is in the comic book upon which the film is based, the character of Gazelle is, is a man with no legs who kills someone by shooting them through a door. I don't mean to scare you, Nick, but there was also a story in which the PM dumps his deputy after an embarrassing <laughs> appearance on a satirical comedy. <laughs> <comment. laughs> <laughs> now, it turned out that no Paralympian wanted to take that much time out of training to make the film. The first woman they found with no legs uh, who could act said she didn't want to play an amputee that turned other people into amputees. Uh, as it turned out, she turned them into corpses. Uh, <laughs> in the end, basically, they couldn't find an actor who had no legs, was willing to play the part and could pull it off, so they had to use an able-bodied actress and use CGI for the prosthetics. I am outraged. I am outraged. Do you mean to, uh, to tell me you asked every disabled actor in Britain? I didn't get called. <laughs> Alex, did they ask you? What? Did they, ask, <laughs> did they ask you to be in the film? They bloody well should have, Hill. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Look at that. That is so sinister. By the way, for my next benefit claim, that is my carer. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> that is quite funny. So, uh, why would you spend thousands on CGI when you could have that? I've and do you know what? We've got some proof. How here. on the last leg could we not source a proper wheelchair? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to to show you how it looks. I'm going to throw a bit. Just have it. See if you this can... is going to be amazing. Great, <laughs> Josh. Here we go. Here we go. Save that for later. Don't go right? straight for the pineapple, Josh. <laughs> As I always say to you. This is the, way, the most. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Nick, do you want to have a... do you want to have a go? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> By the way, Nick... <laughs> the whole interview... Yeah, by well, this one... It was all... on. You got on. No, you no. found what you want. Well, this one... No, yeah, I, was, yeah, I was a little... I was a bit... Come on! Come on! Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing! Amazing! <laughs> Who needs a new What happens is, when you put the Germans and the Greeks together, you get this. Hey. 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 One moment I told, I'm told I'm too edgy, then people say I'm too angry, then that I show too much passion, make your minds up. Palin. Uh, no, that was you oh. in April 2010. Oh. <laughs>